Hey guys, it's Drew here with Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks. And I figured, you know what, I haven't done a hack in a while. And most of these come up to me randomly, just, you know, thinking of them. So I post them as I think of them. So I'm glad I came up with one. I'm doing laundry and I've got dogs. And uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys that lets the dogs sleep on my bed. <laughs> I just give them a bath. So since I gave them a bath, I'm going to clean all my blankets and stuff because they smell like dogs. So um, yeah, that's I'm just that kind of person. I share my bed with my dogs. I'm sure there's some of you out there that do the same. Um, you know, they're loving companions. So, I've got this large blanket. Um, and, man, it's large. And, like, if it came out right now while it's waterlogged, it would just... It's huge. <laughs> so, the washer can barely handle this, but it can clean it once I squeeze it all in there. Uh, this is a queen-size, um, I think, Charisma blanket from Costco. I love it. Uh, they're really great. They're warm. Anyway, so, uh, here's the thing. When you, when you do an extra large or super load, this is a Whirlpool, do a super load, um, sometimes it's it doesn't fill up quite away. Now, sometimes if you've put the blanket in already, it'll block the sensor and it'll shut off early. So, I want more water in here. I want to get the maximum amount that I can get for this. So, I'm going to show you a way to cheat the washing machine. Now, I do want to warn you before you do this, it can be bad for the switch. Um, so, if you're like me, you know, you know how to repair a switch. But it's, it's not great for the switch. Look at this dirt, man. I need to clean that. Um, it's not good for the switch. But in situations like this where you just need to cheat for one load, uh, or if it's not your washer, <laughs> that's awful. Okay, so here it is. All right, so we've already, it's already filled up, and it's on super. It's on the max. So what we're going to do is turn it back to large. And then I'm going to turn the button. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn the button not quite to super, but halfway. Can you hear the water continuing to run? See the water running? So it's actually going over what the sensor requires. So I'm getting it to the top. Now you don't want your washer to overflow. And then when you let go of the button, it stops and you want to go back to super. So it shuts off. So you just tilt the button back, back forward a little bit and just before the super line, you can hear it's filling. So this is a good way to maximize your, your wash load. You do not want it to overflow. That's pretty full. So I'm going to click it off and then you just click it off at super. All right, guys. Well, I hope this hack helped you. And as I said, be aware, it is going to put wear on this switch. I would not do this too often. Um, and you could even break the switch when you do it. So just, just know it's not something that's good for your washing machine. But in a situation like this where you need it, uh, it can work really well. And in my case, I know how to fix switches on washing machines. This is actually just a little little circuit board back here you can take out uh, if it needs to be fixed. So, um, but anyway, for, for situations like that, super, super duper loads that your system won't let you go, um, do that. And here's the little guys right now. Hello. <laughs> These are my buddies, and they're the ones that make that mess that I need to clean up all the time. But that's Tucker and Stark. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, this is Drew with Drew's Quick Fixes and Hacks. If this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. And thanks to all you regular subscribers and the folks that already get notifications. I hope this one is something you didn't know yet. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.